Hey guys, what's going on? It is Woody HD, and welcome back to Destiny. Now, this is a quick video uh, to show you about, obviously, it's Friday, which means Zer is back for the weekend to give us some more exotic gear and hopefully some more decent stuff. I've had a look at the stuff already, uh, just showing you the location and what he has available. Now, usually, he is in the tower, but that is not the case this week. For, I think, the first time ever, although I've never seen him anywhere else, on any other planet or anywhere else uh, on this game. He is not in the tower this time, he is in the reef, which I have never ever seen before. Uh, I was hoping that, obviously we've been with the April update coming out, April the 12th, that's just come, uh, that he would have, you know, 300 plus, maybe some really decent gear from uh, last, from year one, brought through and then uh, offers that, but it doesn't seem to be the case this time around. So let's go in here and let's see exactly what he has to offer. So Zer is apparently located down here through the door on the right. Now I've always wondered what these doors were for down here. Obviously you've got one there if they ever actually opened. This one has opened. I've never ever seen these doors opening before. But here he is, hiding away in the reef. Let's see exactly what he's got. I think one of the guns I'm going to get anyway here. We have 200 legendary marks, uh, which is a real help. I don't think you can get any more than 200. But obviously you've got the material exchange modes of light, which could really help uh, me and some guns. Obviously you've got the heavy ammo, you've got the void, the plasma. Three of coins, which can be very effective in getting possible exotic drops. You've got the Titan class helm of Saint 14 helmet, the young Akama Akamara's spine gauntlets. They look very nice, although I'm not a hunter, unfortunately, but they look very nice. I'd like to have them on the Warlock. You've got the Starfire protocol, which I already have. The Bad Juju, which I am going to acquire now. Um, I wanted, I was going to think about getting the Bad Juju from the exotic list uh, in the tower, but that of course costs legendary marks. I'd rather spend coins because you just refill them up over the course of the week. You have the bad juju, then the pulse rifle, which apparently is really, really good. Good stats apparently, apart from the impact, which I think can be improved. And you've got the legacy engram. Now I believe this is a year one legacy engram. I think this is the most expensive thing you can buy. Uh, I do believe, yes it is. So that, uh, Obviously, random drop. I'm not sure if that is for the specific class that you are, or if it's possibly for one of the three classes. So don't quote me. I don't know. In the past, I've opened engrams and stuff from uh, from Zur, etc., and they've been from other classes. And all you get there is an, is an exotic shard. Of course, it helps if you have another character, which I don't. But uh, yeah, you only get an exotic shard, which isn't great. Uh, so yeah, those are what he has to offer this week. Like I said, I wish he'd offered. Uh, so one of the uh, one of the other uh, from year one brought forward maybe a better attack or whatever, but one or two decent things. The bad juju was a plus for me. I really wanted to get that and not spend have to spend legendary marks on it. So that is what he has to offer this week. That is a short video on the location and what he has to offer. I hope you enjoyed and I've been Wood HD and please like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.